Wow, too fancy. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. And in this episode, I'm going to be doing a segment of Memories of Malta. Now, I know it's been a really long time since I posted a video, and I really want to thank um, new subscribers, um, people who are still commenting and watching my old videos. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> now, tonight, um, you're in for a treat. Because um, I did do a video on uh, or artichokes before, and I did a soup. Um, now, here in Malta, artichokes are in season, and they're growing everywhere. They're beautiful. <laughs> the fields look gorgeous. Um, the artichoke is from the thistle family, and there's where you get that choke in the middle. Um, they're amazing things. Um, they're really tasty, super uber good for you. And tonight, what I'm going to show you guys to do is really easy. You might think it's a little labor intensive, but it's not. Once you get the hang of it, um, it's quite easy to do. What we're doing is um, a ochimimli, stuffed artichokes. Now, I'm just going to stand up here to show you. <clears throat> yeah, I am a cheeky bugger. I have these beautiful artichokes um, from the field here in Malta. Now, <clears throat> yes, I am in Malta, by the way. <laughs> And um, that's part of the reason why I haven't uh, made a video in quite some while. I've just been trying to settle here. Now, um, ideally, what you want to look for in an artichoke is something that is tight. Um, the bud is closed. The leaves are closed. Now, this one here is kind of opening up, as you can see, which is okay because what we're doing is we're stuffing these. So you won't need these outer layers anyways. Now inside, if you can take a look, um, that white part is edible. I'm going to show you how to prepare these um, to stuff them without wastage, okay? Now the stem, not all of it mind you, but probably up to about here, is also edible. It's just an extension of the heart. So don't throw those away. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be right back and show you what I do to prepare these to be stuffed and oh, they smell beautiful they really do now they're really good for you as I said they're low in fat low in calories and they're packed with flavor so guys stay with me be right back and show you how we make a och mimli hey guys I'm back to show you how I prepare my artichoke to be stuffed um, I hope you can see this all right um, here's one of my artichokes. Um, here's the tools you're going to need. A little spoon, a peeler, a good paring knife, and some lemon. Um, on the stove, I have a pot. Um, it's not on with some lemon juice in there, but half of the other half of the lemon. And that just simply helps the artichoke from um, going brown. Um, it oxidizes really quickly. So I'm going to cut the stem and leave about a good two inches in there. Whatever you cut right away, rub with some lemon juice and then simply peel off the leaves. Now you want to hear that snap, then you know it's a fresh artichoke. Simply go around, bend, peel, bend, peel. You want to hear that snap and you want to leave that white part that's edible. Okay, so continuing going around your ouch. You can do this quicker. And what you're looking for is you want the dark green to end and you want to start to see light green. Now you can alternatively um, just um, boil these and you can take the leaves off and then you would eat this part here, the white part by scraping that on your teeth or biting it off. However, for our soft version, we don't need that. Now it's, you can see it's starting to get light green, very light in color. And this is about where I would stop. Now with your peeler, go ahead and peel the stem. As I said, it's really an extension of the heart. It has the same flavor. 
so don't throw them away. We are going to cut these off just so I can um, sit these in, the, in my pot properly. However, um, they are edible, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. I'm going to rub this with some lemon and then put it in my pot with lemon juice already. Right, now you have this. You're going to go ahead and cut pretty much three quarters of the way down. I should probably use my chef knife for that. I should have, but all right, right away, go ahead. And, and this dark green bit, you're going to want to go ahead and remove as well. Okay, just like that. You can see how quickly it oxidizes. Right. Now all of this is edible. I'm going to go ahead and just put some lemon juice on there. If your hands go black, don't freak out. It's just um, the oxidization. Now you're going to need a small spoon and you're going to go in there in the middle and take out the choke, which is that fibrous part of the artichoke that you cannot eat. After all, um, an artichoke is from the thistle family. So you're taking out the thistle. Doesn't matter how long you cook it, doesn't matter how long you steam it, doesn't know, doesn't matter. It will never break down and it's inedible. You just can't eat it. So take out that choke. You can use your fingers as well. I hope I'm showing you. All right, there we go. So basically with my stuffed artichokes, I'm not stuffing the whole thing with all the leaves. I'm just stuffing the hearts and that's it. All of this is edible guys, all of it. This is going to go in my pot with lemon juice and I'm going to continue doing the rest and then I'll show you how we stuff them. It's really simple. That took no time at all, right? All right guys, be right back. Hey guys, I'm back with um, <clears throat> the stuffing that's going to go into the center of my ouch. Um, obviously, I have breadcrumbs here. I have some finely chopped garlic, tursin, uh, parsley, uh, jobon tel hoc, which is a shredded cheese, grated cheese. You can use Parmesan, um, salt and pepper to taste. That's it. Now, the Romans, <clears throat> when they did um, stuffed artichokes in the Jewish slums of ancient Rome, they would add mint. Um, if you want to add that, go ahead. They love their mint. So what I'm going to do is gently go ahead and mix my ingredients together. And the last component that you're going to need, and you may need to add more. You, need, you may need to do another batch. That's fine. I'm hoping this will be enough for the six that I have. <clears throat> as I said, I'm not stuffing in between the leaves as well. You can do that. Um, you, you can try the best you, you can to get them in between every leaf. But um, this is not um, the stuffed artichoke with all of the leaves. So I'm hoping that this mixture is enough. Now, what you're also going to need is just a little dollop of oil, preferably um, olive oil if you have it. Okay, there you go. All right. So continue mixing your mixture, your stuffing, and I'll be right back and show you how we're going to put these all together in our own pitch. All right, guys, stick with me. Hey, guys, welcome back. I've gone ahead and made my stuffing um, for my artichokes. Um, the breadcrumbs, the cheese, grated cheese, the um, parsley, salt and pepper, garlic, and olive oil. Now add your olive oil a little at a time until it kind of comes like wet sand. You don't want it to be oily and goopy and you don't want it to be completely dry either. So just go a little bit at a time. Now guys, there's one thing I did add in here and it's completely optional. I just, I just happen to love them, but I put some capers in here. 
which is quite synonymous with Malta and the Mediterranean. Right, that being said, let's um, stuff our artichoke. Now, the way I figure the best way to do it is with your hands. And you're gonna get the stuffing. Now you can open these up and just pack it. Open up your leaves if you have. Hope I'm showing you and pack it in. Okay. Oh, there's more there. All right. I like to heap mine up. It's up to you. Because and then when you pack them down, it kind of opens up the leaves and they go in there as well. All right. So there's one, guys. Let's go back in my pot. Um, with, there's still some lemon juice um, and water in there. And I'm going to do each one of these. One of, I have six of them. And I'll come back and show you when they're done, really. Um, they just need to be steamed, cooked for about 45 minutes. And you're done. That's it. It's a great starter. It's a great uh, uh, appetizer when you have guests over or a side to a really nice meal. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll show you when we're all done. Hey, guys, I'm back real quick just to show you. Um, a little bit of a mess here, but all that stuffing actually got used in the artichokes. Once those leaves open up and you pack them in there, they will take quite a bit. It's quite uh, surprising how much it will take. So anyways, this is going to go on the stove, lid on for about uh, 40 minutes or so, and we'll be back when they're all done. All right, guys, see you then. Hey, guys, welcome back to the um, final product. Now, I know this was a quick video, and that's a good thing. Um, I will be making more videos again, and I will promise I'm going to try and use <coughs> my camera so you don't have these weird angles however um here's our stuffed artichoke i do have one of the um stems which is nice and soft and the um liquid that was cooking in made such a lovely kind of like a gravy um from the runoff and i did have one it was lovely. It was really, really, really good. The stuffing is awesome. The artichoke, they're awesome. And guys, try it. It's really healthy for you. It's really good for you. And this is a, a wonderful starter, as I said, or um, as a side for a really elegant evening. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it, and we'll see you next time on Memories of Malta. Ciao for now.